Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. I hope you are having an absolutely fantastic day. Once again, we are going to feature some filthy, disgusting, game rigging cheaters. And uh, just before we get into the action here, I just want to say, guys, uh, I have been receiving hundreds of these uh, replays sent from you guys. And uh, I promise to continue featuring these cheaters as long as you keep sending me the replays. This is a lot of work because it's not just like picking a good game and doing commentary. Sometimes I have to go through the details and check accounts and actually watch the game and, uh, and try and analyze things. Making one of these videos is a lot of work, but I'm going to keep doing it for you guys. Please show me some appreciation by subscribing to the channel. Help the channel grow. I want to try and uh, put this out there and shed some light on this issue, which a lot of people still deny is affecting the game. And really, I don't see anyone else talking about it, Wargaming or other CCs. I can't speak for other CCs, but at the time of recording this, other than Quickie Baby posting one video, I haven't heard uh, much from uh, the rest of the CC community. Let's watch this video here, guys. And before we and one more thing, please share this video as much as you can to try and uh, get more and more people to to watch this. We need to bring this issue to the forefront so that we can have some discussion on how to stop this because it's not good for the game. Okay, it is not good for the game. You're going to be blown away with what you see today. Okay, blown away. This isn't just one replay of a potential cheater. There's a story here. I had to do a lot of work to put this together. Uh, Watermelon from the OMG2 clan sent me this replay. He's in his Object 140. And he noticed that on his team there's a platoon. A T125, a T57 Heavy, and an Object 140. And he's typing in chat just as he sees this. Read the chat just below me. Um, he already mentioned... Uh, Platoon 1, you're not rigging the game, are you? Wargaming hands out HW bans. Well, he's typing in the chat. He's, he's already worried about rigging. And if we just pause the video here, you can see what's happening already. Let's pause the video. The, the platoon with the T57 Heavy, pay particular attention to the T57 Heavy, the T125 and the Object 140 have headed down uh, the ice road. They're, they are now at E... E9, okay? They all went there together, but they have a plan. Take particular attention of the T57 Heavy. The T57 Heavy has amazing burst damage, all right? One clip from the T57 Heavy is four shots, 400 damage per shot. And who do they encounter first? The IS-7 who just trundles around the corner. The T57 Heavy moves forward and now clips the IS-7. Just look at the minimap here, guys. Eclipse the IS-7. And you might think, well, you know, it's just regular gameplay. Hold on. There's a story here. He, the T-57 Heavy now, is taking his shots. It looks like the IS-7 and some of the people killed the 121, who was in a bad position there. Now the IS-7 just rolls out, allowing the T-57 Heavy to clip him. Maybe this is the second clip. We, we don't know, right? Because uh, it, it's hard to see. But the T-57 Heavy there got a lot of damage. Now the E-50M uh, moves into position. Look at the minimap. The E-50M moves into position right there. And he's dead. He got clipped by Tanky Senior from the PMHC2 clan and T-57 Heavy. Now it's hard when you watch these replays to, to know exactly what's going on. Because uh, let's go in third person there. There's the T-57 Heavy. There's some other players there. They've won the ice road. If you're playing this game, you say, well, our team won the ice road. It's not till you look at the post-game stats and you look at some other things that you really understand the story here. And I've put this together. Just keep watching, guys. What exactly happened there? Well, I know what happened is that uh, this is going to be a steamroll victory. And now our, our uh, guy that sent me the replay here, Watermelon, <laughs> he's moved up uh, Mr. T57 Heavy is moving up T125 is moving up here they come here they come there's more to the story here let's just watch guys there goes the T57 moving up and he's moving up as fast as he can and he's going to face off against the IS-7 on the enemy team which is the third person in the platoon 
Meanwhile, some of his teammates are also trying to get damage here. This um, uh, uh, watermelon in the Object 140 is trying. But now the T-57 Heavy is starting to clip the IS-7, who just sits in front of him. Meanwhile, there's some arguing going on in the chat here, right? They are rigging. Res uh, report at all six. Sending Wargaming ticket and replay. Yeah, T-57 Heavy. You will get 6k damage. Read the chat. These players are already noticing. You guys are becoming more aware uh, uh, when there's rigging. He's, Watermelon is saying in the chat, enjoy your rig ban. Your rig ban. <laughs> because Wargaming gives out bans for your graphics card number. I don't know what they're talking about in the chat, but I can assure you Wargaming does nothing. Uh, from the tickets I sent in and from what I am observing, uh, 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 unless someone from Wargaming comes and leaves a comment in the comment section about how you are handling these game rigging cheaters. Graphics card says the T-125? Some of uh, uh, the, the, as a matter of fact, I think I missed it in the chat, but I'll post it here. The T-57 Heavy Tanky Senior uh, actually replied to some of the um, some of the comments that were in the chat there. Let me post this, uh, uh, his, his response. He actually engaged in the chat. But this game is over, um, and it was never really competitive. Uh, but if you were playing on the 1-2 line, or if you were the artillery, or if you were playing uh, anywhere else, or maybe didn't uh, take notice of what was going on, and even if you're watching this video right now, there are probably some people that are skeptical, thinking, well, this doesn't prove anything. It's just a game. The T-57 Heavy went out there, and he shot a bunch of people he's dead now um maybe the other platoon was just bad players we don't have to watch the rest of this let's go to the post game stats so tanky senior finishes on top here with his t57 heavy with 5512 damage but let's just look at these accounts quickly the uh, t125 on his team alex j1111 of course he's anonymized but alex j1111 in the replay file, you can find his name here is um, Mutambo. Mutambo is an old account created in 2011. It has an average overall WN8 of about 800, but recently has a WN8 of zero. In the past 100 battles, zero. Typical for these accounts, guys, it used to be an active account. <clears throat> it used to have a decent WN8, but then it went through a period of long inactivity here. Uh, for uh, quite some time and now is back and active and doing zero. Just a, a, an account used for, for game rigging. His other platoon member, Victor Wet Tax. Let's check him. This is an anonymized name. Victor Wet Tax. What kind of an anonymized name is that? His name is actually uh, Deuce Three Times Machina. Surprise, surprise. This is an old account created in 2011. It has an overall WN8 of almost 2,000. This is a good player or was a good player. But recently, over the past uh, 100 battles, has averaged zero. Zero WN8. And again, uh, the profile, similar, used to be active, inactive for quite some time, and now is back uh, since October, since before October, doing zero. Game after game after game, uh, just doing zero. Just another garbage game rig in account. The enemy platoon here consists of this E50M, uh, Drelicus. Drelicus is his anonymized name, but his real name is Mikinka. Account created 2013, overall WN8 of close to 1,000, but recently, of course, WN8 of zero. The IS-7 on the enemy platoon is Nikorn2016. That is an anonymized name, but in the replay file, you can see that his real name is Isil. This account was created in 2011 and overall has a really good WN8 of 2219. This used to be a very good player, 54%, almost 55% win rate overall, but recently, say over the last 100 battles, has done absolutely nothing. Zero WN8. An account used just for game rigging. And you can see on his uh, graph here that an account used to be active, then inactive for quite some time, and now has come back uh, and for months uh, done nothing. The last member of the enemy platoon in the IS-7 was called Renard Defio. That's an anonymized name. His real name is the Psycox. Surprise, surprise, guys. Overall WN8, close to 1,000, but recently uh, a zero. Another big fat zero, an account that's used for game rigging. 
Now I propose to you that his teammates in the Object 140 and the T-125 were simply there to shoot other players and be targets to allow him to farm this platoon. Now on its own, you might think that that first game is a little bit circumstantial, just based on one replay like that, to assert that there's game rigging cheating going on. Uh, even though most of the chat in that game, uh, the people in the chat seem to realize that game rigging was going on. And the idiot in the E50 is actually part of a clan called the Boost Clan. And when you start looking at the statistics, you realize that there's a pattern there. But strangely here now, a separate subscriber, uh, Mesiqua from the Ratio Clan, sent me this replay. Not knowing about the first game that I just featured, just another uh, replay that you guys sent me that I noticed, strangely, coincidentally, has Tanky Sr. in the game. Tanky Sr. is in his T-57 Heavy again. And this time he's platooned with another T-57 Heavy and a T-62A. On the enemy team, there's a platoon, an IS-4, an IS-7, and surprise, an E-50M. This is a different game, sent in by a different viewer. All right, now let's look at the minimap, and what do we see happening right away on the minimap? We see Tanky Sr. rushing to E-4, to that corner. Let's point at the minimap here, guys. And who does he encounter immediately? The E-50M. The T Tanky Sr. encounters the E-50M who rushes to the corner and allows himself to be farmed. The Object 277 on a teammate also sees that and moves aggressively to this corner. You, you notice that? So there's a game going on as well. Right? There's teammates trying to get some of the damage as well. But look what happens immediately here within the first minute and a half of this game. Uh, let's count it down here pretty much in the next few seconds. Boom. The E50M is dead. Tanky Senior has a kill. He's moved in there. He took four shots did damage to the E50M, reloaded, and got the kill. I think the Object 277 probably took some damage as well. Now this is just, it's unfortunate that Wargaming will not give me the aerial view camera because then we could fly down to uh, uh, E4 and actually see what's going on here. But look at the minimap and you could kind of figure out what's going on. It's absolutely disgusting now what's going to happen. Uh, it looks like just a cluster of dots here. But what's happening is the T-57 is now going to move out and, and clip the IS-7 who came out and allowed himself to be farmed. But his teammates were also doing damage and the Object 277 got the kill there. But trust me, Tanky, uh, Tanky Senior got a lot of the damage. But watch now, this is absolutely disgusting. Okay, let's, I'm gonna zoom in onto the minimap here. There's two, there's two T-57 heavies on this team. The other T-57 Heavy is platooned with Tanky Senior, okay? Now watch what happens. There is an IS-4 here and an Object 260 on the minimap. You see that? The IS-4 is part of the, uh, the game rigging cheater platoon on the enemy team. He wants to be farmed by Tanky Senior. But there's an Object 260 here who's saying, hey, wait a minute, I'm still playing this game. So how is Tanky Senior going to farm this IS-4? Well, watch what happens. Both T-57 heavies move up. One of them just directly moves up like a Muppet. There he goes. This T-57 moves up like a Muppet and tries to shoot the Object uh, uh, 260. He's distracting the Object 260 and allowing himself to be a target. And he's dead. Meanwhile, Tanky Sr. moves up here and he can farm the IS-4 while his platoon mate just uh, drove forward like a Muppet allowing the enemies to, to shoot him and distract, all right? So Tanky Senior now is able to clip the IS-4. He's able to reload one more time and probably get one more clip out. And remember, with a T-57 Heavy, four shots times 400 damage is 1,600 damage. And all you need to do is four or five clips and you end up with a, a stellar game. They don't care whether they win or lose. They don't care about the outcome of the game. They don't care if they ruin the match for you. Tanky Senior is now dead. Uh, it's only four minutes into this game. Mission accomplished. All right. Let's check the post-game stats and see what uh, what they accomplished in this game. There's no point watching the rest of the game. So it ends up as a victory. 
And when we look at the post-game stats, you'll notice that Tanky Sr. from the PMHC2 clan did 8,770 damage. His platoon mate in the T57 Heavy did nothing the whole game until he just ran out there to distract and be a target to allow uh, Tanky Sr. to farm the IS-4. If you look at his stats, he only fired one clip. He was there the whole time just to absorb fire and distract the enemies so that Tanky Sr. could do uh, the farming. And his name is uh, TX Orby from the Mango Clan. Let's check out his platoon mates. In the T-62A is Sorcerer112. Sorcerer112 is an account with an overall WN8 of 897. He's a recruitment officer from the Boost Clan, aptly named. And over the past thousand battles, has done uh, nothing. And when I say done nothing, he's the WN8 of zero, has not really functioned as a, uh, as a player, is just involved in, uh, in game rigging and cheating. His platoon mate in the other T57 Heavy is TX Orby from the Magno Clan. Account created in 2012, overall WN8 of 455. Uh, recently and totally has been uh, trash. Uh, WN8 over the past 100 battles, 270 over the past 60 days, 87. Just a, another garbage account. Now let's look at the enemies. Remember the E50M from the previous game? Who is it this time? Anonymized name. Anonymized as 82A Oryx 17. Real name, uh, Makinixa. This is the same E50M from the first uh, replay that we watched. Overall WN8 of 1,000 and now recently uh, done zero. Caught in two separate games, doing zero uh, in a feeder platoon. Uh, this account is used for game rigging now. The IS-7 on the enemy platoon that allowed himself to be farmed is uh, Bezapas99. Bezapas99 is anonymized, of course, and if you look in the replay file, you'll find that this is the same player that we saw in the first game, Isil. Remember Isil, the account that used to be over 2000 WN8? Uh, but is now used as a, a game rigging cheating account. And the last member of the enemy platoon, Neznaki876, another anonymized name. But Detective Jason Anderson could find him in the replay file. And surprise, 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 his real name is Mutambo, the same game rigging cheater from the first replay. Mutambo, the account that was created in 2011 with an 800 overall WN8, which recently, over the past 801 battles, has a WN8 of zero. Game rigging cheaters caught in two separate games boosting the same account. The first game was played October 11th at 1328. 1328, October 11th. The second game was played October 11th, 2215. That's almost 10 hours later, but uh, a 10 hour difference, same behavior, just disgusting um but if it weren't for you guys sending me the replays uh and being observant and uh seeing this stuff uh i think a lot of people that were involved in these games would not have noticed uh it would have just been especially if you died early in the battle and uh, you were playing on a different map position to what was going on you just click next you go pick another tank and click another battle or if you were on the winning team uh, maybe you were on the one line while the rigging happened on the zero line. Just go, okay, move to the next game. But now that you guys are actually uh, starting to watch for this, I appreciate you guys sending me these replays. And I'm getting hundreds of them. Hundreds of them. Uh, so I'm going to keep featuring them as long as you guys keep showing me support. Please subscribe to the channel if you uh, uh, appreciate my work. Share this video to as many uh, people as you can. Let's try and uh, uh, blow the lid off this issue and uh, just uh, get more uh, people aware of it and start a discussion. There's got to be a way of ridding ourselves of this uh, uh, disgusting rigging in the game because it is affecting a lot of the gameplay. Um, and you guys are starting to notice it more and more. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you on the next one.